We are going live. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Beer Analysis 101 with your host, Mac Willstar. Hi, Tonight, Mac. we are doing... Oh, hey, Jamie. We are going to do Pop City's Boxcar. Bok. Ooh, a little focus. There you go. Nice, which is a uh, relatively new beer from Hop City. Let's get down to who we've got with us tonight, starting with Mr. Ashley Sexton. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great, Nick. Thanks for having me. I did, no problem. As I was mentioning in the back there, I was off today. I'm off tomorrow, so it's like a mini weekend. Bang, bang. Nice. A mini weekend, get drunk tonight. Yeah, stumble through life tomorrow and, uh, and then pull myself together for uh, Friday. Yep, exactly. Now, do you have to work the weekend too, or do you uh, you off? Uh, I'm off Saturday. Sunday. Oh, you're off no, Sunday. I, yeah, so I have to work Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Yeah, that ain't terrible. Not, not terrible at all. Hmm. All right, let's move over. We've got uh, Joe Thomas. I mean Scott, ah, Mister the on? Fuzz. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm extra fuzzy. I got a new haircut, and nice. uh, uh, it is it is uh, you premium new, fuzz. You got a new fuzz cut. That's right. Hmm. That's right. Premium fuzz. So uh, I should, uh, that's what I should have put my name as. Oh, missed oh, opportunity. Don't change it. Uh, anyway. All right. Let's move over to Mr. Greg. Hello, Nick. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm also Joe Thomas. And uh, I spent too much money on Double Tempest tonight. It's all right. As long as you got something to share. I got none to share. Damn. I've already explained to you the terms of how you can get some. Well, you're not, I'm not filleting you, so. Anyway, uh, well, I actually want the fuzz. Ooh, there you nice. go. Nice. He's got to prove to you if he's a good friend or not, Nick. <laughs> How so? Well, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. There's uh, there's only one person, though, that uh, that can really kind of pull that weight around here, and that's Mr. Alpha Mustache. Mr. Jamie. How are you doing tonight, Jamie? You're muted. Are you able to talk? There. There you go. You're good? Yep. Sorry for being so un unprofessional. I just had to plug my... It's all okay. good. You're competing against Greg, so professional doesn't have anything to do with it. But is this the right one? That's Jeez. the right one. Okay. Good. Right on. How are you doing tonight, anyway? Good. Thank you. Good. How are you? Not too bad. Nice mustache. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get over to the beer history. Somebody's got a Movem message. November. Yep. Donate. Yeah, it's it's Everybody. it's good. Like if you want, just uh, share out your uh, uh, your Movember link. Can, your deets. You can all donate monies when we have it. Uh, all right. So whoever. let's. Yep. Somebody right. there. donate to somebody. It's a mean link. I'll post it. Anyway, so uh, Hop City's Boxcar Bock. The history of Hop City is, of course, uh, we've had actually had done two beers of theirs on the Beer Analysis One One before. We did the eight sin lager, black lager, and we did the barking squirrel. So this is probably one of the last pop cities we'll do for a while. Um, they kind of disappeared off the map a little in the last couple of years. But uh, Hop City opened in 2009 at the site of the old Niagara Brewing Company uh, brewery in Brampton. Um, well, Hop City started oh, as a wholly owned wholly owned craft brewing subsidiary of Moosehead Breweries. The brewery is, however, independently run by brewmasters Kevin Gray and John Gagliardi. Hop City's most well-known beer, based on a recipe uh, from Kevin and John themselves, is Barking Squirrel Amber Lager, which was released in 2009 when the brewery opened and became a hot seller and has gone on to win a multitude of awards at both professional, national, provincial, national, and worldwide stage. Several other beers from Hop City have also made on awards at various levels. Hop City's other beers include, but are not limited to, um, Barking Swirls Amber Lager, as we mentioned, Hot Bot IPA, Polywana Pilsner, Payday Saison, Lawn Chair Weiss, um, Cheat Day Black Forest Porter, Eights in Black Lager. They've also got like that big ticky blonde or whatever it is. Um, and of course, Bob City's boxcar box that we're taking oh, a look Jesus at tonight. So, my thing just exploded everywhere. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, moving right along. So, Hop City boxcar <laughs> box is a 6.7% ABV, 24 IBU, 
Bach, traditional style Bach, brewed with 100% Canadian malt and first launched in August 2020. That's literally all the information they have about this thing online because it's not even listed on their website yet, even though it came out in August. Looking at the uh, the, the the details on the can, it says actually boxcars carrying 100% a Canadian malt gives this iconic strong lager, lager the kick of a goat. More like a sheep. Fun shit. All right, actually, let's. Actually, uh, if you want, if you want to sound like a goat, it's ah! ah! That was too loud. Right, Ashley, what's your history with this beer? Nothing, no history whatsoever. Uh, Hop City in general, I've I've had a few times in the past, but uh, I'm I'm just gonna guess that uh, I was on the Barking Squirrel and the Eight Sin. And I probably didn't like either one of them all that much. So uh, it's never been a product I've really held in high regard. So we'll see how this one pans out. Sure. All righty. Let's go over to Scott. Scott, actually, no, you do kind of have a history with this beer. Yep. I've had it before. Um, I, um, I thought before that um, it was kind of like a. Eh, beer. Um, I took a sip of it here, and I was right. It was a eh, beer. Um, spoilers? Yeah, spoiler alert, right? Um, I, it, I've had it before. It, I've had it on my back deck. Um, you know, it was, uh, I think it was summertime, but other than that, it, uh, it didn't surprise me. Nothing of this surprised me. And I'll tell you more about it later. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go over to Greg. What's your history with this beer? Yeah, this any... beer is a goddamn Bach and it exploded everywhere. I've never had it before, but it's getting a zero out of ten. Bye. <laughs> he had he had some explosions. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to that. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Jamie, what's your history with this? None. Never had it. I've had uh, the other ones, but I haven't had this one yet. So we'll see. Nice. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Yeah, the whole moment we've all been waiting for. All right. So my history with this is I think I had this specific beer once before. Uh, my history with Hop City goes back all the way. I can't remember the first time I ever had. Um, I think it was when I did the, my original review of Hop City Barking Squirrels, the first time I ever had a beer from Bar Hop City, which that was like 2012 or something, even for it's like three years before that. Um, I've had a number of the Hop City beers over the years. It's just they're kind of like background. I mean, yeah, of course, they're originating from Ontario, but they're owned by Moosehead. So every single fucking release is ever, ever from them, almost every, um, has been released here in New Brunswick because it, like if they're brewing it in can distribution, it's probably brewed actually in New Brunswick instead of and maybe there's a distribution place in Ontario, but it's mainly brewed on Moosehead's brewing system. So um I think Hop City's kind of getting downplayed lately because uh Moosehead's pushing their own small batch brewery, so it's uh well. Well, All that's right. only that's only locally, right? So I mean Moosehead's pushing its own small batch brewery for local stuff. But Hop City is more of a, a regional well, brand, yeah. like an Eastern Canada brand, right? Well, yeah, but so even some of Moose's small batch beers are available in Ontario and across across Canada. Yeah, but yeah. not not in so much as what the Hop City brand is about. Yeah, Hop City is more readily available in Ontario, but um, there is a number of like Moose's small batch beers that have made it to Ontario. Their sales rep came into my store a few months back. He's he, he's a Moosehead sales rep. And he he just takes care of the licensees in the Niagara region, and it was just so random because he's like a older gentleman, and he was talking about the strip clubs and how they're hurting really bad during <laughs> this time with their beer sales and stuff. And I was like, I, okay, and then he he uh, came in again like uh, two weeks ago, and he was wearing a uh, a Hop City jacket. It, it clicked. Yeah, I I remembered then that they're owned by the, by Moosehead. I was like, oh yeah, I got uh, that Bach in, in my fridge. I'm gonna be uh, having it with my buddies soon. He's like, oh yeah, you'll like it. He's gonna like, say that about all his Moosehead products. Wow, man, really? <laughs> Thanks for getting into it. You're the sales rep. 
to the product and someone mentions it that they're going to experience it and you just say yeah you'll like it it's, <laughs> and that, it's good it's good you're a real good salesperson <laughs> you didn't even you didn't even ask any qualifying questions no. like what kind of what kind of thing do you are you interested in do you like a, a multi beer or do you like a, a hoppy beer or you know yeah. you know like not not any Nothing. qualifying just said you'll like it you'll like it like That's everybody it. does yep yeah okay. so that's kind of a bad salesman right like i'm right? a pretty easy guy to talk to that's right. <laughs> you know i got i do stuff i breathe isn't right everyone breathe so you, yeah. we can we can relate because i breathe you breathe ah we're good <laughs> It's related. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really weird today. Mm. Well, you did get you did get puked on. Like a certain somebody who will remain nameless, but they're from a place called Louisiana, and they review beers, and they always used to feel that just because we all like beer, we should all be friends, and we have no differences because we all like beer. We're all good, right? Mm. I don't know who you're talking about, actually. Okay. It's okay. That's why Nick Lowe endorses all my opinions because he like he does not. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I think everybody knows that by now. So, Greg, w was there any serviceable beer from that can that you were able to put into a glass? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I probably got about two thirds to two thirds of it. Oh, okay, you made it seem like it exploded all over the place. Like it was. It did. Insane. It required me clean up ever. Plus, it exploded all of my wife's work equipment, which was even worse. So, oh, that's not oh, good. Yeah. I had to like clean it up. That's, and that's fucking. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking shitty. So, what exactly happened? Is it like? As soon as you cracked open the can, it like overflow and door foam or what? Up and over, like it's like this was some sort of a like like a sour ale or something. Like I mean, infected or something. Like how does that happen on a fucking hop city? I don't know. It came out of the fridge. I didn't shake it. It came here and then. <laughs> I don't. Know. I almost feel like Ashley Sexton cursed me. <laughs> It's it's been a slow con. It, it's it's taken two years. See, I I snuck something into your car when you're at my place for the bottle share, and I'm I'm finally starting to get you know into my voodoo stuff. So, ah. yep. no, I should not have give you those gave you those locks on my hair. Exactly. Right? <laughs> was anybody else's like pretty carved or? My, I mean, I still, mine was fine. Yeah, I still got a lot of head on mine. Like this has been—I yeah. poured this a little while ago. The, the head, the head on it's quite foamy. Wow, it's been foamy. Like I, I when it's Nick little... started reading, when Nick started reading yeah, the bottle, uh... that's when I started pouring, and this is the foam it's, it's been. And that's it's weird. Little, it's a little is it, way carbonated. Is it still bubbling up. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's still pretty. It's still pretty high, but no, it's not bubbling. Right, but it's still. Pretty good. Like, like well, that's fizzing. Been, yeah, that's yeah. been yeah. pretty yeah. persistent for 13 yeah. minutes at least. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yours is like my neck. It's still going. Greg's isn't. It's all over his floor. No, mine's. Uh, no, none mine's, got on the floor, just on the desk. Mine's pretty dead. Over uh, Agnes's laptop. Wow. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Mouse got hit. So, hopefully, I didn't break. But. Yeah. There's only two comments there, so there's Lee saying a pack of mother balkers on this show. Uh -huh. Wow. And wow. the other Lee saying the beer got excited for Greg. It just blew its top. Uh, it, it just got overexcited and blew its top the second you touched it. I was going to say, I'm usually the one that, that blows my load too fast. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, you were the one that blew your load too fast all over your wife's keyboard. Well, yeah, you did, you did go first today, so... Yeah, but it was me stimulating another object. Anyway, this is going to get complicated. <laughs> Doesn't gonna, sound that complicated to me. Called man and machine. All righty. So, uh, Lisa's off to work. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, that, that's, yeah, that's a lot. I, guess. I just looked at my cell phone. Lee wouldn't do that. Nobody should look at your cell phone, Greg. All right. So this is a pretty easy one, I guess. Uh, anybody want to go first? I'll go. All right. Mr. Ashley's excellent. 
Oh, it wasn't Ashley that said that. No, it was Jamie. Oh, it's Jamie. Yeah. Jamie. Yeah. Do you really want to go first? Yeah. Sure. All right. Let's do it. Let's do this. What do you think? Um, I I find it quite thin. It's overly busy. Like I would think a Bach would be like a Ashley is saying his is kind of dead now. Um, I would think mine would be like that by now, but it's still fizzing away. Um, so uh, on the tasting it, it's all I really get is kind of caramel and alcohol. Like it's, it's a, a little bit of too much of both of those. Uh, I kind of get that taste in, in your throat a little bit after you drink it and it just kind of sits, sits there for a little while that just that kind of a little bit of an alcohol burn, not super bad, but, uh, just kind of, um, muted caramel. That's yeah. really the only thing I get out of it. I don't get any like graininess or anything like that. So, uh, pretty baseline as far as, uh, a, a beer that I would, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. It's it, it's not great though. I probably wouldn't buy it uh, a whole lot. Um, but is it, you know, a, a beer that I would never buy? I wouldn't say that. Um, do I do, give scores now? I don't remember yep. if you do. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, out of ten for style and then overall. Yeah, out of ten for style, probably give it. Uh, I'm gonna go a little low. Six point five for style. Um, and for enjoyment, I'd give it a seven. Like it's it's okay. It's just okay. Nothing great. Here you go. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Pretty much. All right. Um, anybody else ready to go? Ash. Uh, yeah, I'll go. All right, let's do this. Have to follow up, Jamie. Yeah, I mean, um, the nose is is uh yeah. Uh, echo what Jamie said. You got the caramel on there. Um, I'd add a little bit of nuttiness, but I, that's about it. Uh, on the plus side, there's no like crazy like sulfuric yeasty esters because it's a lager. So, um, so yeah, nothing uh, nothing offensive on the nose. It's just uh, it's just caramel and blah. Uh, um, as you've, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, like the carbonation is just pretty much died down. Um, the body's okay. Um, it's uh, it actually, I, I feel as though, and maybe it's because it, mine's not very carbonated. It, it sort of coats the palate quite nicely. Um, not quite medium bodied, but almost there. Um, but the flavor is, yeah, just very, very sweet, uh, very lingering sweetness, uh, a touch of warming to it. Doesn't really hide the alcohol all that well. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, an over redundant like caramel sweetness that sort of just sort of overpowers. There's not not much like hoppy bitterness to it. Like hoppy bitterness, my god. Uh, there's not like like no earthy bitterness to sort of uh, counteract the sweetness. So uh, I mean, it it drinks okay. It's not terribly offensive. Uh, it's not blowing my socks off. But uh, there's just no true depth to the flavor of, of the caramel. So. Mm -hmm. um, so for style, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll agree with Jamie six and a half on that for style, and then for personal preference, I'll give it a six. A six. Eesh. All righty. I'll, uh, I'll go next. I'll go next. All right, Fuzzy, you're up. Let me bring this party down. <gasps> last, last time, <gasps> I, uh, yeah, I I alluded before that this was a meh beer, and it's still a meh beer. Um, never, uh, like, it doesn't surprise me. It, uh, my, my opinion on it was it's a very tin, like, not, sorry, not tin, a copper taste. Like it came from a can back when I first started drinking beers, you had this very, you know, can taste when you bought cans. That's why you always bought bottles. I mean, they've, they've, they've changed the, you know, yeah, they've changed the, the, the process where now. Hey, you, you know, you don't taste that tin or that can anymore. But in this beer, still taste the can. It tastes like a like a copper sheet. I'm drinking a, I'm drinking water out of a copper sheet. Um, uh, the style, uh, uh, my beer's a little bit different. Still lots of still lots of head. Yeah. Um, not active. It's very. Oh no, it's still active. It's still bubbling in there. Um, but. Uh, 
I don't know. It's it's weird. My I'm going to I'm going to completely kind of go sideways on this. Um, I would give this for style um, a five, maybe even a four five, um, and uh, overall five. Meh, meh across the board. Uh, so five five or four or five for style. Let's 4. give 5. the benefit. Yeah, let's get, yeah, okay, fine. 4.5. 4.5 for style. You can convince me. Difference. Give it the fuck you, basically. Yeah. Don't worry, Greg's um, going to bring it further down. Um, no, I, I personally, for this beer, I would not buy this beer. For, for if I want, if I wanted six of them, sure, I'll drink six of them. And they're, and they're free and they're sitting in a, bu- in a bucket. Yeah, fine. But to, to enjoy a beer, not, not, I'm not buying this again. Hmm. All righty. Join me, Greg. Join me. Join us, Greg. Greg. What do you um, think? What do you really think? I don't think I hate it as much as the fuzz. I'm going to try not to get overly annoyed because it would get like 2 out of 10 because it's a fucking block and it exploded. Fuck you, Hop City. Um, but I don't it does say like poor quality control. Yeah, I mean, I will say six point seven percent. You definitely, you definitely don't feel like that. Like I thought it was five percent by drinking this. I mean, that's a good thing. Um, otherwise, it's it's a pretty boring beer. The only re- slightly remarkable thing I can say to it, it's got kind of like a little bit of a grapey taste to it, which I like. It's a nice little taste. Like it's like drinking a bit of a, uh, you know, adding a little bit of a grape Gatorade to your uh, to your beer. Um, I'd rather have a grape ga- grape Gatorade than this. Ooh. Creep Gatorade is pretty tasty, so I don't know, but it won't get you shit faced as fast as this one. Wow. Um, that's, the added, that's, the, that's the add on this. The, the, that's what brings it out of great Gatorade category. It's because you, you could probably drink six of them and get, get plus. Yeah. And I mean, I guess in honor of Fuzz, uh, Fuzz wants to drink six of them. I give this a uh, six for style, six for personal enjoyment. That's all it is. It's a, it's a passable beer for me. I don't hate it, but it's. Meh. Yeah, see? See? It's meh. And meh beers get meh scores. All right. And let her the PS de Resistance. Is this uh, moi? Oh, shit. Oh, Nick. And of course I did. Of course I hit the wrong button. Who, who do you think you're talking to? That's humiliating. Um, I kind of agreeing with a lot of what people are saying. I don't find this beer particularly exciting. Let me grab my tasting notes here from this notepad. I do get like the flavors of a typical blocker of a typical traditional blocker there. You get like the dark fruits, caramel, a little bits of like chocolate and and uh what it's a Dutch beer sweet, are you drinking? The big thing about this beer, let me finish. Like the big thing about this beer is I find it a little maybe weirdly chalky, kind of like it's almost like this really and latent flavor really reminds me of like it's not really a Bach, it's a Bach flavored Kool Aid or something like that with alcohol thrown. And it's kind of like got this very Kool Aid made from powdered mix or something kind of flavor to it. Um, the finish is cereal grainy, bready, highly earthy. It's not clean. And when I think of a Bach, I'm thinking like some kind of like lager, kind of like German style lager. This thing's got a touch of cardboard right up through the middle of the finish in this thing. It just doesn't come off as, I mean, some of the flavors are okay, but like it's not clean. And that's, this is not really something I like from a Bach. Uh, Give it 6.5 for style and 6.5 for overall. I mean, it's not like I don't necessarily hate it. I just don't think it's great. I'll agree with you on that, uh, on that sort of dirty yeasty type of, uh, note to it it definitely has that um to a, to a certain degree yeah, if, I, if i want a german style lager kind of beer i want something with a nice clean finish this is yeah. does not have that yeah there's a little uh thing on the back in it on the can it says box cars carrying 100 percent canadian malt gives this iconic strong lager the kick of the goat yeah it's definitely not the greatest of all time. I can think of another go. Yeah. Rest in peace. <sighs> all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a disappointment, really, in, in yeah. a way. Because I was thinking, like, Moosehead makes great, pretty good 
you know, basic loggers. I was thinking like something like this coming from even a brewery organization Whoa. would have a nice cleaner finish than this. I, I wonder though, if, you know, based on what we've seen from the five people, it, it's like the, the, the beer itself is, is a little bit different from everyone in appearance, like uh, in how it's like carbonated. And like we have, you know, the fuzz who's like beer has held its head uh, in a, a nonic pint glass for like the last 25 minutes. Uh, and mm. yours is in that Sam Adams glass, which it really isn't all that different. Well, it's got the etching really in the extent. bottom. It's aerated, right? So it's got the etching in the bottom for the nucleation sites. Um, but it doesn't really have a huge amount of head on it, but I mean, yeah. it's got more than I would expect from a log. Yeah. That's for sure. Greg's exploded. Mine yep. was flat. So it's like... And mine, it's like weird I can still... Quality control. Just yeah. a little bit there, and you can still get it going. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. So I, I wonder if... if if this actually came out of the same uh, brewery, or if they, you know, were making this at multiple places, I don't know. Look up big can. I don't think mine even has like a can date or anything on it. Mine's on the bottom, but yeah, I threw my can away. I don't care. Uh, something. Mine, mine's G thirty. That's what mine says. G thirty. G twenty nine. That was July. July thirtieth. G30 as well. Is that one G30? What, what's happening to Nick? Nick's okay. going. So that's him, not me. Okay. Just making yeah, sure. It's, it's Nick. Nick's going Nick's going digital. Ain't no He's party like oh. Nick old party. Yeah. It's probably my internet. We have a uh, comment from Rainy and you prayed. Of course the beer sucks. It's a Bach. It's got to be from Germany to be good. Wow. No. Hey. I've had good box before. Thanks for stopping by, ready on your parade. Fuzz has had a good box. Yeah, the best box. Yep, the best box. <laughs> Domo arigato, Mr. Nick Bato. Domo. Domo. <laughs> oh, shit, Nick, you need to call Redbeard and find out why your internet's not working and then yell at him. You can't yep. pick <laughs> what the, what the uh, what's that uh, electric guy who talks like a robot? Uh, he's uh, dead mouse. Dead mouse. Uh, Nick being dead mouse. Yeah. Nick, can you unplug it and then plug it back in again? Reboot it. Yeah. Jig jiggle the cable. Jiggle. <laughs> right. I can hear you guys fine. Can you hear me? No, not fine. Yeah, You're cutting out a lot. Yeah. I gotta reboot my modem. Oh shit. Okay, well, yeah. try to end the chat then. Or the stream or whatever. We have to stay professional. It's been a Wait. wonderful show, everyone. Goodbye. Oh wait, what's our final score? It's like a six out of ten pretty much. Just post it. Just share your screen. Post it out of, out of. That's the next one. Is uh, it's a Coors Light organic. The Coors organic. Can I get it? I guess. Everyone it's in Coors, the world. so it's it's Keep widely talking. available. Every, everyone in the Keep free talking. world can get that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll everyone. Finish, in, oh. We'll finish. We'll finish the chat for you, Nick. Um, we'll finish the talking part. All you just have to do is post your uh, post the score on the screen. Yeah, there. Yeah. I see your finger, and it's digital. Yeah, and there you go. Oh, oh. Left. Does, are we still live? Who controls this? Who's in charge? Who's in charge? Oh. You left, you came back. Yeah, so we're live. Who can stop this? Who can stop this train? Oh. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, he's, he's there. He's in charge. <laughs> We can do a lot of stuff that would get Nick's channel taken down right now, and then he would... no, he'll just, he just can't <laughs> it's probably the best thing you've ever done, Nick. Right <laughs> yep. Smartest. Uh, if Nick, if you're still listening, send me the thing, and I'll finish it out for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back with this. I was, I was trying to do my, I'll try to do my the double, for Nick the double dick. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's good. That's well, that's I'm good. I'm sure there's a failsafe that if the leader leaves, 
then the the chat would automatically shut down within a certain length of time. I, yeah. I, I'm sure that's built into StreamYard. It has to. It should shut down in five minutes. <laughs> oh. Just enough time to say what he needs to say and then get I, out. Are you still working on the MS Paint graphics or what, Nick? Like, what's going on? I gotta do the math. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's a hairy pussy. Uh, it's, she needs to get shaved. Is she getting shaved soon? Or? Yeah, probably in the next <sighs> week or two, but we're... We're not going to Niagara anymore. We found a local groomer that can do it reasonably enough and cheaper. So, oh, there you go. Because they just give the cat a light anesthetic just to kind of make it groggy, Ooh, and then they can shave it that way. Well, hopefully they don't massacre that pussy. So, ah, you know what? We wouldn't want that to happen. That poor cat. You know, I would... hey, the, the blood will show up well on her fur. Ouch. No, I wasn't saying that. That's terrible. I was like alluding to a bad haircut or something. Oh, not, like, actually, not actual physical yeah. harm to your poor cat. Jesus. I mean, they theoretically could if the groomer fucks up. They could definitely cause the cat harm, but oh, for uh, sure. it hasn't happened. I mean, they they operate with sharp utensils. That's, yeah. that's their business. Well, my best, wife watches Best the review the ever. Time. Thanks. My wife watched way too much TikTok was saying like she saw a video of a dog that got like the tip of its tongue cut off or something. Now, why, why do we have Chad on here? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> oh, so, yeah. He, he did the re a review this morning on it. I don't oh. know. I, I didn't watch it yet. Oh, did he really? That's funny. Yeah. That's so awesome. the, the, ratings, <laughs> the ratings overall, the style from all uh, five of us, the style gave it a six. <laughs> overall, 6.1. I mean, it's it's middle of the road. It's uh, live review will probably drag you down, but uh, it's middle of the road. Bach. Um, there's nothing really special about it. Um, you no. can't really can't. I mean, you can't really say too much about it. You, you, you buy you buy a few of them. I mean, it, if you if you look at it, it's a six point seven beer, but it doesn't really taste like a six seven beer. It, it tastes like a five. Like uh, Greg was saying, it's a it's a lower. It's it, it punches above its weight uh, on the alcohol, so it, it's pretty good. The the color. Hey, what's the, that? The color. The color is nice. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a red. Like mine is a reddish copper it, color. Still. It looks the part. No, I was actually talking about Chad. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Very very albino. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Good one, Jamie. Oh, um, God. Yes, yeah, so and that, that picture showed up in a Google image. Oh, oh did it really? Be, you can probably stick around there, uh, yes. Nick. You're very, you're very not, uh, you're not yeah, digitally I, anymore. Once this is done, I'm going to reboot my router. I've yeah. been having internet issues for the last like few days. So Roger said it was fixed, but why? Yeah, why they say it all the time. I, the, the inner shot of internet connection I've had for the last couple of days is saying otherwise. Yeah, has has determined this is a lie. Yes, I, I was going to finish this off, but Nick. Since you're back and in full uh, audio form, why don't you finish it off? Yeah, let Nick finish it you know, off. Let me finish it off. Wouldn't well, be the first time. All right. Well, I guess I, I'm not going to wait for people to ask the magic question because we don't know how much time I've got. Yes, next week's beer is going to be Corey's yeah. Organic. Greg you should be able to get that, so I know Ashley can. Oh, yeah. that looks good. Am I going to have to buy like a 12-pack of it? Probably. Um, I think you can get this in like a six pack. At least you can't hear and can't and you runs it. And I've what are they like? What are they like three point five percent? Probably yeah. crushes six three, of those in the review. Three point eight. Yeah. Three point oh, eight. I've got a sixer of them. Check the oh. check the beer store. See what it is. I'm willing to bet it's on there. I could probably crush that sixer during the review. Drink all of them at once. Yeah, it's just like water. That would be like two pints. That's all. <laughs> Whatever. Ashley's just doing the... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a shotgun. Right? I'm checking the, in. That's why the 19... Like, when I was in my 20s, that's just the training period. You know? Yeah. It was all building up to this moment. 1450 yeah. for yeah. six-pack in Ontario. 1450 for six-pack. <laughs> It's kind of a lot for a six pack <laughs> of that shit. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh well, great dance, dance monkey, dance monkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, we'll take this offline here. Coors Organic is next week's beer. Yes, it is. Yay!
Why don't we do double tempest next? It, yeah, well, then we'll do double tempest to offset it. No, like, yeah, if you can send me one, I'll pay for it. Order some and I'll send it to you. Okay, anyway, we'll figure it offline. Off we'll figure it out offline. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. See you.